If you're a user of the 18KPV, you may have noticed a new setting in the maintenance menu of the Monitor Center called Working Mode. Now you may be thinking, wouldn't you always want it in Working Mode? But it's actually a new settings menu with Working Mode profiles. In addition to reorganizing the various settings to be less cluttered, you now have a timeline and better correlation between settings and their function. Under the new section, you can select which mode you're trying to implement, along with the relevant variables and time frame. These settings are listed in priority order from top to bottom, so if two settings have overlap, then the higher one on the list will take precedence. Peak shaving is first on the list. Peak shaving is a feature that will offset any loads above the set shaving power threshold. This means that, for example, if you had 9 kilowatts of loads running and 6 kilowatts of shaving power, your grid will power 6 kilowatts with the additional 3 coming from your inverter. If you plan on using this, select Enable to allow the settings to trigger. You have two time frames that you can set up, each with their own shaving power and minimum battery charge to begin the cycle, listed as Start Peak Shaving Volt or SOC. Peak shaving timelines will take priority on the list over other settings as long as their conditions are met. Backup slash AC charge mode is next, letting you specify times that you want to ensure the grid charges your battery bank. This setting works well with peak shaving to charge during off-peak energy cost, while peak shaving lets you cut your usage during the on-peak cost. This mode also has a battery backup enable, which will manually set your inverter to keep your batteries topped off, similar to the start battery backup function from the main monitor screen. The settings for this mode also have three configurable timeframes and a max charge value. Under PV charge priority, you'll find the simple settings for having your PV dedicated to battery charge foremost. If you have PV input above the charge power variable, that excess will supply loads or export to grid if you have export enabled. Even at a maximum battery charge power of 12 kilowatts, you could potentially have up to 6 kilowatts of additional solar power while still offsetting loads. And lastly for the configurable modes, forced discharge or export PV only. Using forced discharge is one of the less common use cases, so it has a lower priority, but can be used to cycle batteries consistently and possibly net positive for exporting on certain time-based net metering arrangements. Export PV only will keep the battery from discharging enough power to export since there are some more restrictive utility agreements that do not allow for battery exporting. When all of the above modes are inactive or disabled, self-consumption is the default operation of this inverter. This will utilize the general settings of your inverter, powering loads with as much of the inverter's PV and stored battery power as needed, and reserving or charging with the excess. The new working modes timeline should help reduce the complication of commissioning a system by providing a more intuitive look at the settings relevant to your desired goal. If you have feedback, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more features and future content.